Welcome. In this video, we'll cover automatic change routing or wire redundancy using IP SLA. In our scenario, we have a branch site connected to the main site using two links. For example, this is fiber or gig ethernet link and the other link is wireless or whatever. Also, the same thing can be applied if you have two internet connections from different ISPs. This is first ISP and this is the second ISP. In our scenario, we want this link to be the primary link. All the data will go through this link or router one to get the destination network 192.168.40. And if this link goes down, the router 3 will change the route automatically to the secondary link or router 2 to get the destination network 40. The idea here, R3 has two routes to get the network destination 40. One of them is primary and the other is a backup. R3 sent ICMP echo or ping to R1. If R1 replies, will remain use R1 to get the network 40. If it didn't reply, R3 will use the other route or router 2 to get the network 40 automatically. This is what we want to do using IP SLA. Let's see how to do that. First step is to configure SLA. We want to create SLA in router 3, conf t, IP SLA number 1 or 2 or anything you want. From your SLA number 1, you can send ICMP packets, ICMP echo to the IP 20.2 from the source interface fast 00 source interface fast 00 and this icmp echo will be sent every 10 seconds for example frequency and with timeout 6000 millisecond means if router 3 didn't receive a reply from 20 to 2 within 6 seconds it will consider it down this SLA will be executed for a period of time. IP SLA schedule. We want to schedule SLA number one from now, start time now, live forever. This is specified the life of this SLA, for example, in our scenario forever. The second step is defining an object that tracks the SLA using track number, for example, any number, track number 10. This is will track the SLA number one, IP SLA one, IP SLA one reachability, the reachability. So it will track the state or the reachability of SLA. The reachability can be up or down. If it receives a reply from the router one, it will be up. If didn't receive a reply, it will be down. Let's see here, show track. But so the reachability is up because it can bring to the router 1 and router 1 sends a reply to router 3. The last step is configuring the static routes and telling the router that the static route to 20.2 will be the primary and the other router or the other route will be the secondary. Let's see how to do that. Conf t IP route to reach the network 40 using this subnet mask go to 192.62.20.2 and type track 10 means this route is linked to track object number 10 that tracks the reachability of SLA number 1 as I said SLA number 1 send the ICMP echo to 20.2 and if 20.2 sends a reply to R3 the reachability will be up and if 20.2 doesn't send a reply to R3 the reachability will be down press enter now we want to configure the other route here to get the destination network 40 ip route 192.68.40 to 0 255.255.50 the next stop is 30.2 and we want to assign administrative distance more than one because the first route is the main route and with administrative distance number one and this is the backup route with higher administrative distance so I'll type 5 and press enter now go to show IP route router 3 will use a 20 to 2 next hop to get the destination network 40 now I want to go to router 1 for example I will go to throw fast 00, 0 conf t interface fast 00, 0 and I will remove the IP address so now there is a problem in this connection between the two sides or from R3 to R1 so I'll go to R3 now R3 will not receive a reply from 20 to 2 
as you see the reachability down type show IP route again as you see router 3 changed the route automatically to 30.2 this is how to use IP SLA for wire redundancy or for automatic change routing for more videos visit my channel on YouTube and visit netsishorizon.blogspot.com thank you for watching